you're watching Admin Drake TV. In light of we were speaking up last week, we spoke about domestic violence, emotional abuse, and all that. And I was saying people should speak up talking boldly on TV. Speak up, speak up, speak up. And I have my own issues and like I've zipped up my mouth protecting who or uh, for what zipping up for what I wonder. So Giovanni Caleb is a colleague. We all work at Media Journal. And I see some of you saying why didn't I address it with him at work? It wasn't a discussion in a makeup room. A whole interview with delay. Global, like everybody's gonna watch it, people in the diaspora, everything. And he goes like I lied. And then he said it so nicely. She's my friend and you know, I supported her in my in, in her um campaign and all that. Yes, she did, but even that one it was like a work he had to do. I came to Star FM and the show I was giving you were a host. You have to pay your bills. So whether you liked it or not, you still had to do it. And um, I came to do an interview to promote bipolar awareness. So if I had any issue with you, I really don't have any issue with you. Um, it's unfortunate that um, I'm very vocal about my sexual escapades. Even when I don't put it on social media, during my relapse all my close friends know that i talk about how great sex was for me or not so great that is who i am you see i enjoy talking about sex researching on sex and all those things um some people say it's bad so sometimes i work on it or i'm working on it to tone it down quote unquote so that you can be in a stable relationship and finally get married uh, you can be your own self so I don't know why Giovanni, you go and sit there and lie. You could have just said no comments because that's what I do anytime people ask me about anybody that was on the list. You know, just no comment because I don't know why I should lie for you or which, which, it wasn't something I was even supposed to talk about, but I did have a relapse. And I spoke about it and there was no lie about it. But you know, there are so many strings attached, so sometimes you but I don't understand why you would sit on TV and be confident enough to lie. And because maybe you think I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a mute or I'm not a confident woman or I don't know if you ask somebody to. We didn't even talk about this. And you just go and say that about me. And people keep on saying, oh, she's always making up stories when she's having a relapse. <clears throat> she's mentally unstable. So whenever she says something, don't take her serious. I think before I do this video, like, I texturized my hair. So it was, like, all over the place. I had to go and brush it up so that I look kept before I make this video. So nobody would think, oh... She's having a relapse. I'm I'm just emotionally drained. Like why he would say that. And then there are other underlying issues of girls that are coming to me, asking me, telling me about stuff they are going through. And I would advise them and I, I can't advise my own self. I can't take my own advice. That is very sad. Mothers, ladies advising your daughters asking them to speak up i hope you do speak up when it gets to your turn then that person in power that person that you really respect says something negative about you or does something unfair to you i hope you'll be able to speak up